Welcome to my meadow garden. This used to be very well landscaped with several plantings and mulch, but it got a little overrun and I started experimenting with letting some wildflowers grow in here. And uh, it's it's been really nice. I have a lot of the Queen Anne's lace. Some of the plants are still coming back from my plantings, but all of these have spread down here from up above. I had some of these brown-eyed Susans here, and they never did well, but they moved all around the pool. I didn't plant any of these down here. And same with the echinacea and the lamb's ear. All the way around. And I decided this year not to pull this grass out because it's so hard to pull out. I just keep pushing it down, flattening it down. And um, I have the bee balm here. It was much more blooms last week, but the Queen Anne's lace is going strong. And I have some of this uh, milkweed that was really fragrant and beautiful in the spring. And that just appeared here. I never planted any of this. And it just, uh, it's amazing that, you know, if you know what weeds uh, not to pull out and you start selectively letting some things grow, then you can end up with a meadow garden. Just thought I'd share that with everyone. And uh, I wanted to show you one other plant that I really like. Um, this right here is all going to be a whole bunch of Queen Anne's lace, maybe too much. But over here, next to the pool, is a um, mullen plant. And, uh, you know, it's uh, just a weed that grows along the roadside. And I let it, I let it grow there. And it, uh, it's pretty nice. And I have one out here. Some more Queen Anne's lace, some more milkweed, and then all the flowers just all around the pool from spreading on their own. Thanks for watching.